Hello, church family. This is your pastor, Bradley Boberg. I hope you are doing well today as we uh, look to God today and, and think about a spiritual practice that we can put in our life. Now, I must admit, uh, part of this comes out of the fact that my daughter, Scarlett, struggles the most in school with one particular task, writing. Now, I'll be honest with you. It's a struggle of mine as well. Writing is something that doesn't come easy and natural to me. It, it comes sometimes a frustration for me to think about how I want to put my words together. But it's become something over time that I've done. And um, I have to find a place for writing to come out of me from. And it, in the best times, I, I write um, out, of a, out of a place of, of what is important to me. And that's my faith. And so that leads me to considering a particular spiritual practice, and that is one of writing. Now, in Scripture, we have several times where Scripture talks about writing in different ways. Um, Deuteronomy. Uh, it says, uh, Lay these words of mine on your heart and in your soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be frontlets between your eyes. It talks about writing things down and binding them. A couple of times in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 6, Deuteronomy 11, Proverbs 3, 3 says, Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Uh, Proverbs 6, 21, bind them on your heart always. Tie them around your neck. Proverbs 7, 3, bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Now, these are specifically talking about things of God, things of God that are the law, the works, the words of God that are, are being told to God's people. And they're supposed to write these things down and bind them and put them uh, as a place to remember. I think we can learn from this and understand that there's a spiritual discipline that you and I can be a part of. And that's of writing. Now, some of you are already like, oh, I ain't doing no writing. Um, I'll tell you, it, it's not easy. And it's for some people and maybe not as particularly for other people. But I think all of us, no matter how much we enjoy writing or not, we can get something from considering of how sometimes we need to write things down. Well, here's a few reasons why we may all should participate or, or we all can participate in the spiritual discipline of writing. Uh, one, because I think God kind of encourages us to find ways to remember and reflect upon things. Uh, write them down. Write them as, as you remember things. Um, it, it's a part of what, what God is telling us to do in, in, our, in our discipline of remembering. Um, I think we also can uh, remember an, an old adage I've been told, uh, um, you know, a short pencils better than a long memory. Um, we remember things better when we write them down. There's some other things that I think we can consider when we think about writing. And these are things that we can try in our practice of spiritual discipline. Uh, one, we can keep track of things. We can keep track of what God is doing in our lives, the the work of God. We can write prayer requests down and how God is answering prayer requests. We can keep track of uh, momentous occasions, of moments in which God has worked, and we can write down what it, was, what it was like and what we were feeling and what we were experiencing in those times. And I think that's good. So there may come moments where we come back to it and we can reflect upon it and we can consider what it might say uh, to us in the future. And so we write these things down to remember Sometimes I write things down to let go of it. That's another way of, of writing is a spiritual discipline. Um, we can write things down and, and sometimes I tear it up and throw it away. Something that may have happened to me, something I'm struggling with. It's a symbolic way for me to get it out and for me to then get rid of it. And so I think we can consider that um, uh, when we write specific things down in our lives and then we can tear it up and throw it away or get rid of it, sometimes it just gets, and sometimes we need to keep it. That's okay if you like to, to journal these things, write these things down and then keep it. 
But uh, sometimes getting it out of us helps us process things, helps us with our emotions and how we feel about things. Sometimes we need to write to tell our story. I always encourage people to at some point write down uh, two things. First off, uh, your testimony. Uh, what is God doing in your life? What has God done in your life? Write, write these things down. Tell your spiritual journey. And, and all the nuances of it, especially what God is doing in your life right now. The ways that God's working in your life. Write these things down. It's a powerful process for us. And the second thing that you, you probably um, need to write down is what you believe. Um, your spiritual manifesto, you may say. Uh, write down what you believe. What is things that are most important to you? And lastly, for me, one of the things I always make sure I write down are the things um, that I I'm, that have been my successes, or things that I'm grateful for, or or you know stories of places where God has has worked, and and I want to make sure I remember those things. I come back to those things to be reminded that God has worked in my life, and that I have blessings and hopes and some wonders that have occurred to me. And so I, I write down these things that I'm grateful for, the successes in my life, to, to kind of keep me on track. Writing is a way for us to um, keep track of things, to, to let go of things, to, to, to be able to, to see where God is working in our life. And we can hold on to these things or we can get rid of them if we need to. But writing is a way for us to communicate. So I encourage you, um, consider a way, a method, a plan of writing in your life. Maybe you are like me and writing doesn't come easy, so you need to do it in small bits. Maybe you love writing. Maybe it was something you always enjoyed. Maybe you just need to get stuff out of writing. Maybe you just need to keep track. Maybe I encourage you to make it a spiritual practice and a spiritual discipline. Because God tells us the importance of, of being able to th think about and write these things down. If it is important to us, maybe we should write it down. Write them upon the tablets of our hearts. Write them and bind them around our neck. Um, or maybe we bind them as a book. Whatever it is. Uh, I think God moves in us as we write as a spiritual discipline. Let us pray. Gracious God, I thank you for the opportunity we have to write. The words in our vocabulary are powerful and enriching and wonderful. Lord, help us in writing to keep track of things, things that you have done, answers to our requests, Lord. Help us to, to write uh, as, a, as an avenue of getting some things out to, to relieve ourselves of the frustrations and the burdens of our lives. Help us to write so that we can be reminded of the successes and wonders and good things in our life as well. Lord, help us to use writing as a way to draw closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you until we see each other again.